This last video for our social studies is going to focus on the lands and people resource that can be found on the left side of the page on the NC Wise Owl Middle School Zone. If we click on that, it'll take us to an encyclopedia uh, that focuses just on lands and people. So as you can see, this is going to be a great resource for social studies teachers. Of course, there's the encyclopedia, electronic atlas, there's a focus on just North America, Culture Cross, Passport to Fun, and then an Almanac. And so let's take a look at some of these resources individually. So the encyclopedia, of course, is just going to be a very simple encyclopedia. It's got some information, um, and you can search, of course, at the top of the page. You can identify which continent you are looking for. So this encyclopedia, Electronic Atlas. Um, provides different information. You can search the map, find all kinds of information about different places uh, in the world. Uh, the focus on North America, again, just breaks down North America if you want to find out about specific places here and click. Uh, it also provides web links about North America, and so there's a lot of information there. This could be a great resource if students are doing country reports, city reports, state reports, um, culture cross, um, so you can compare two cultures, um, whether that's by continent, country, or state, and so you can see how Afghanistan compares to um, Angola. And so you can compare, and you're going to be given the t information about the two right next to each other. And so it's going to be easy to compare the two places that you're studying. Um, you could also identify it by what you're trying to compare. So that was a comparison of land. What do we want to compare their economies? And so I can find out about the two economies and have them side by side, find out what the top uh, producers crops are in each country, um, compare them by facts and figures, historical events, all kinds of great uh, resources to compare two cultures. Um, and then there's also a passport to fund, and so it's got some different items that we can play with. Um, so it's got Picture this, step-by-step step, Mexico, um, the red, green, and white stripes in Mexico's flag stand for unity, independence, and what? And so you choose which word you think fits. Well, I think it's religion. And so it gives me a correct, and then it gives me the next question. You keep going through and finding the, the word that answers the question, the word or the picture. And so that's the picture of this. There's a game zone um, that has different games based on different places. And so it's got kind of a hangman type thing for Australia. And so I could try and type in a letter. And I typed in an R. And I didn't get it. So let's try N. And what would happen is eventually a monkey climbs up the tree, and when he gets all the way up, you wouldn't lose it. You would lose, so you try and find the word before it gets there. So there's different games. Um, there's a quiz master, and so you can have a quiz on state nicknames, and go through and try and figure that out. Um, which state is nicknamed the Bluegrass State. I'm going to go with Kentucky on that one. That's correct. Here comes the next question. And you can keep going through uh, and play those types of games. Uh, but this is an overview of the Groiler uh, Peoples and Lands resource.